We want to get into just the horrific atrocity of what happened in Las Vegas. My mind is blown by the numbers that, yeah. that, that keep coming in. Last we've heard now is that more than 500 people injured, uh, at least 58 dead, uh, and they are still dealing with this uh, at all the hospitals there in Vegas. Uh, but, you know, the, the scene, some of the videos that we've seen have just been... Uh, you Heartbreaking. Know, J just Jason Aldean on stage uh, when the shooting started. And we're going to have with us in just a moment uh, a woman who was actually standing on the stage uh, when, this, when this started. So she's going to tell us what that experience was. And luckily, everybody who was on stage uh, made it off, but uh, not so uh, for a lot of the people who are in that crowd. And we've learned a lot more about Stephen Paddock who is the guy who stood on the 32nd floor at Mandalay Bay in a hotel room uh, and opened fire on the crowd. Uh, and it's really bizarre, the things that the people are, you know, you always hear people go like, oh, we, we you know, he didn't talk a lot. Kept he to himself, owner, kept all himself, that stuff like that. Didn't seem like a bad guy. Uh, his brother actually spoke with CBS, and his brother um, was absolutely floored because he says there's nothing, uh, he says there's nothing in his past that would lead you to think uh, that he would do something like this. Did you know him to have guns? Was he an avid shooter? I mean, no, you know, not that that. Not but... an avid gun guy at all. The fact that he had those kind of weapons is just. Where the hell did he get automatic weapons? He's not. He has no military background or anything like that. You know, you, I mean, when you find out about him, like I said, he's just a. He's a guy who lived in a house in Mesquite. And, down and gambled in Las Vegas. Uh, he did stuff. He burritos. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. something is not adding up here because uh, yeah. not only uh, did he have the automatic weapon that he was firing on the crowd, uh, but when police went into he had the hotel arsenal room, arsenal of weapons on him. Arsenal had more. They said uh, about ten different guns, uh, automatic weapons, rifles uh, that were. He was loaded up in that hotel room. So for his brother to say that he has no history of using weapons like that just doesn't it, it doesn't make something that's not making sense it's really a remarkable thing i mean we we, we kept rem we keep being reminded of the fact that there is no you know profile that fits every killer here but he had holed up in this room for a number of days had all these assault, assault weapons this was not a spur of the moment reaction yeah remember he he, yeah he'd been in there since thursday uh he checked into the hotel on thursday and have that kind of firepower that you walked in got into the hotel somehow and up to his hotel room uh, just really horrifying, especially for, you can see, These the people crowd that was there. Are victims of an act of terrorism. Um, and just to think of the guy up there, you know, spraying down upon those people, just subhuman, it makes me sick. Yeah. Uh, one of the people who was uh, on stage at this, at the country, country music festival that was going on, the Route 91 festival, uh, Chris Daniels, who is a, uh, a Las Vegas radio personality, she's joining us right now. She was on stage. Uh, when the shooting started. Chris, uh, thank you so much for being with us. Yes, thank you for having me. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be here, actually. So wh where exactly were you on the on stage or were you backstage when, uh, when this started? And how quickly did you realize that this was what exactly what it turned out to be? So we were on the side stage. Jake Owen was on my right. Uh, Luke Combs was on my left. My husband and I were there talking heard the shots going off. My husband thought it was fireworks. And I said, no, 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 that sounds like an assault weapon. And then we see Jason look to the left and then they rush him off the stage, the lights go off, and then we all just start running. We, we're hiding under buildings. I look under the building we're hiding under. There's a propane tank there, so we gotta oh, run. Wow. We're running through the streets. You're seeing mm. people that are probably dead, some shot run into a hangar, it, w it was just horrible. But everyone was helping everyone. How, uh, Chris, how far did you have to go before you had any feeling of, of, of safety? How far did you have to go from the from the venue? We went all the way to Jana Airlines hangar, which is, you know, like mm -hmm. the Area 51 planes. We went all the way over there. We had to crawl under wire fences and everything. I don't think I'm still processed yet what happened because you don't expect to go to a country show and have massive shootings. This doesn't happen in yeah. country. He was a messed up individual and we all need to definitely, I think people need to get some help and talk to people and hug your kids and your loved ones. Yeah, yes, uh, absolutely. All right, Chris, thank you so much for being with us and um, you know, yes. good luck going forward. I, it's, yes. 
I just, for those who yeah. Uh, agreed, agreed. I, I just don't, you know, look, there are all kinds of shows that go on in Vegas. Sure. And I know that some have been canceled, uh, at least for the next couple of yeah. days. Interesting to see was sort of uh, how the city, which relies so heavily on, um, you know, events like this, reacts to, to what went down. Yeah, so and we're gonna, obviously going to find out more about Paddock and what was going on there.